You know, I, I'm, I'm pretty extroverted. I'm like a software engineer who's pretty extroverted. Um, I, so I have this issue where like, I'll feel, I feel if I don't leave the house, I've only left the house twice in the past two days. Um, <laughs> and so like, I can feel really weird by Wednesday and, um, and I need that personal connection. And my wife was super frustrated when I'd come home and like, I'd be all over her just like, Hey, like, what's, how, how's it going with Bob and Bob and Larry? What's the dynamic at work like now? You know, like, she's like, what the heck you're getting, you need a social life of your own. So I have a co-working space that I go to twice a week just to be able to have other people to be around and foster some other relationships with. So for me, that's worked. And I, and I hope, and yeah, and anyone who's done this remote thing for any amount of time realize that, no, you actually have to be, you have to work with those relationships. Darren, what do you think? Yeah, no, it's a really good point. I mean, and, and, and that's what immediately came to my mind was co-working. I mean, I think that's part of the reason why co-working has, has exploded in popularity, um, not just because, you know, there are big companies like we work that, create a really awesome um, place to go work, but also just because there are people who still crave that, that human connection, right? And it doesn't always just have to be your coworkers, right? The people that are actually on your team. Um, and it can, it, you can find a community and, and sometimes that's even more beneficial and more powerful for the team because you're bringing in relationships and ideas and opportunities that are outside of your organization and outside of your team that a lot of organizations would never have the ability to tap into if they were all co-located in the same spot, right? We only know the things that, that you know, we're hearing from our coworkers in, in the same physical location versus being able to tap into this, this broader network. So that's definitely, definitely one piece of it. I mean, I think the other thing too, Michael, is, you know, as it relates to connecting with your team members, um, you know, I put one-on-one -on -one appointments on my calendar for every week. They're just recurring appointments. Um, uh, we typically, typically meet those. Um, and I think the same thing could apply, you know, just even if it's a 10, 15 minute, you know, placeholder on your calendar every week that, uh, you can stay kind of accountable to, um, the, the same thing would apply even if we weren't co-located in the same spot. Uh, just a nice reminder, like, hey, give them a call, see what's happening. Um, and, you know, maybe there's not anything going on that you can help them with from a work standpoint. But, you know, at the very least, it's an opportunity to kind of connect and, you know, hear their voice on the other end.